you will agree with me that a lot of things is happening in nigeria welcome you guys again to everyday affairs how uh, is our xmas celebration going how uh, are we enjoying this festive season i hope we are all enjoying our holidays home and abroad welcome you again to another interesting news of course we know that peter will be will have something to say about the present situation of things in nigeria we all know how things are presently in nigeria how things have been a bit tough how the economic crisis is eating up hard and how it has actually affected the livelihood of most nigerians now peter obi is out again to share his thoughts is out again to talk about this bad governance and probably what must be done in order to have you know a brighter future ahead of us now do you think tinobu's administration can actually lead us to the better nigeria we are longing after well we would like you to sit tight as we go into the full details of the news do like share comment as you enjoy uh, the full details according to the news the biting effect of poor governance bad policies have dampened hopes of most nigerians that is what mr peter obi have said a lot of nigerians have lost their hope they've lost their hope completely as a result of bad governance and even poor policies bad governance bad policies poor governance has led to a lot of things in nigeria and it has even led to political apathy because a lot of people don't even want to be you know involved in politics again in nigerian politics again as a result of what they have faced before probably what they have encountered before as a result of bad policies and even bad governance according to the news peter will be the candidate of the labor party in the 2023 presidential election has urged nigerians to share with their neighbors and the underprivileged persons during the christmas season he lamented the economic hardship confronting nigerians but urged them not to allow it to hinder them from appreciating the essence of their creation and the importance of seeking God's mercy at all times. In his Christmas posted on his ex formerly known as Twitter in a Twitter pardon handle on Monday Obi said this season epitomized love, peace and joy for all mankind, their values and longings that unify our common humanity in the inner feast of love. This is why I wish to share the spirit of this season with all our compatriots, irrespective of station, circumstance, and, you know, persuasion. I fully acknowledge the difficulties of this uh, time in our dear country. The hard time in the country, the biting effect of bad government policies and poor governance has dampened the hopes of most Nigerians. The difficulties and challenges of this moment should not, however, hinder us from appreciating the essence of our creation and the importance of seeking God's mercy at all times. Furthermore, our current setback should not stop us as a people from aspiring to overcome present difficulties and realize the full potential of our blessed country. I therefore enjoin you to use this great feast to offer special supplications to God for our country so that we can have the opportunity of joining others in the global community to give thanks to God, you know, to give thanks to God for the abundant gifts he lavished on us as a nation. And as a leader, we must embrace the spirit of this season which emphasizes charity. For leaders, charity underlines compassion for the people in their present hardship. For us as a people, charity means sharing with our neighbor and less privileged our material things. On this unique occasion, I wish to reassure our people that our adversity shall not persist for too long as we look forward to a new Nigeria. This is a powerful statement from Mr. Peter Obi, who have shared his own view concerning the present situation of things, who has made us know that, okay, uh, the present situation of things in Nigeria will not last long, and we hope 
that we'll be able to get the new Nigeria we have been looking forward to. What is your take to this? We would like you to let us know your own point of view to this. Like to share it with us via the comment section. But before we go, let's see what people's reactions is on this. Let's see what people has felt concerning what Mr. Peter Obi have said. Ojugo Osage reacted to this quickly and said, Mr. Peter Obi is now Minister of Information on that Tinubu that was silent and dining with PDP under Buhari. Now, Peter Obi is now a Minister of Information under President Bola Amentinobu, the same person that was silent. He was silent and dining with PDP under Buhari. And that reaction from Uduma Onachi saying that uh, you are very correct, Mr. Peter Obi, you are very correct with everything you've said, and even the Agbadorians were not like this. Another reaction from Ndubisi saying that His Excellencies. Peter Obi, some people don't want to hear the truth. His supporters will jump out and attack you, so don't waste your precious time. This is what has been said by Ndubisi saying that everything you said now is true, everything you said is cool, but don't just waste your time because there are some people, especially the supporters of uh the supporters of Tinobu, they won't want to hear what you are saying. They won't want to hear this. So don't just talk don't see anything just keep your calm what is your take to this some people don't want to hear the truth especially his supporters they will jump out and start attacking you what is your own reaction to this pen development mr peter Abi should rest because the same people you are fighting for will still be the same people chanting praises song for their oppressors another reaction from you know sodig saying that the same people Peter B is fighting for is the same people that will be singing praises for their oppressors. So Mr. Peter B should rest because the same people you are fighting for are not ready to fight for themselves. What is your take to these different reactions from different persons, different reactions from different individuals concerning the present situation of things in Nigeria? Of course, we all know how badly we have been affected by bad governance. Look at the the price of petrol in Nigeria, the, the price of PMS in Nigeria, and this crude oil is something that is being produced in Nigeria, something that we have as a natural resources, something that we are blessed with. Now, just look at how expensive it is to the same people who have the natural resources. What is your own reaction to this? I would like you to let us know your own point of view on what has been said. Don't forget that. Uh, the effect of poor governance and bad policies in Nigeria have dampened hopes of most Nigerians. That is what Mr. Peter Obi have said. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on the next.